We're going to look at drawing this cosine curve and the cosine curve it looks very much like the sine curve except it doesn't start at zero it starts at one and it's also like the sine curve it goes up as far as one and goes has a minimum value of negative one it just is starts at a different place but it's pretty much the same curve um, what we're going to do is we're going to go to an interactive which is in GeoGebra and we're going to show us how the sine curve is derived from there right let me just get that in the right place Brilliant. Okay, so let's talk about what we've got here. We've got a unit circle. We have a right angle triangle drawn inside the unit circle. And if you remember, the x coordinate for that point up there is the width of the right angle triangle. So we're going to look this time at the length of the purple line. If you have a look here, we're going to take um, it down to zero. Okay, at zero degrees, um, the X coordinate is one okay well the length of the purple line is one so at zero degrees here this goes 0 90 180 270 360 so at zero degrees the X coordinate is one or the length of the purple line is one so that's why we start up here what we're going to do is just move it along slightly you can see here we've got 18 degrees and the distance here is moving back this direction so it's becoming less and that's 0.951 and that's the cosine value. Moving it back this way, you can see that we've got 72 degrees, the length of the line is 0 0.309, and as we get towards 90, it will give you a width across here of going zero. Okay, the x coordinate will go to zero, so you watch it as it goes through here, it goes to zero at 90 degrees, and that goes through here at 90, and as you go past 90 for 117 degrees, the x coordinate or the length across the horizontal of the triangle it works out to be negative four five four okay and that should be zero point negative zero point four five four as we move towards 180 degrees you can see that the length of this becomes um, negative one and you can see that tr tracking through there as we get to 270 it becomes negative uh, becomes zero sorry and you can see it going through here at zero and as we go back to 360 it goes this direction and this curve is called the cosine curve just like um, the sine curve it has a height of one and sorry an amplitude of one it goes as high as one and as low as negative one and it goes through zero at different places 